Okay, I was on YouTube trying to figure out how to get this fan clutch or fan uh, radiator fan out. Um, I can't do it with the uh, tips that they'd had. I came across a guy who used a chain. And I'm about to try it and see if it works. I've got a bolt down here that's inserted. I don't want to take it out because it, was, it might be a pain in the butt to get back in. I'm going to tighten that down. I'm going to insert a bolt into this hole right there and uh, then attach. So I'm going to insert this bolt in there and attach the chain and try to use this little trick. We're going to see how it goes. Let me tighten it down first. Okay, got the bolt in, it's right there. We're gonna try this one. Okay, All right, it's in there. That's gonna prevent it from moving. I'm gonna get my tripod. The wrench here with the hammer. Now it's just at a weird angle. I can't tap it from here. I wonder if I should just get a breaker bar and crank on it a little bit. I'm gonna try to get a little tap. See if it'll work. The sledgehammer wasn't working. Um, I'm gonna try to use a cheetah bar here. Let's see if you can get it. Golly. Thank you right now. Jeez. Here's the water pump assembly after I've taken it off. You can see what I did was just uh, throw this bolt in here and you can see it got a little jacked up while I was cranking on it. Um, and then uh, just connected a, a uh, bolt into one of these little holes and uh, it didn't need to thread in, just it needed to be put in and just sat there loose. But putting it in caused this to stop spinning, which allowed me to put some torque on the uh, fan bolt and that's how I got it off.